So don't forget to stop by the gallery on Green Street for Peter Bay's opening. It will be Saturday from 5.30 to mm -hmm. 8.30 and another big art festival. Oh, the Key West Arts and Crafts Fair is on the uh, Whitehead Street and it is so beautiful out this time of year. Make sure you get out there and scroll and look at the hundreds of artists and amazing arts we have available out there. It's just, it's really wonderful. It is incredible to see all of the talent here. And Tom, we didn't mention it earlier, but you actually have a special friend right now in town who's going to be on Good Morning Florida Keys next week. So. Yes, we're going to have him on. And uh, we're going to talk to the one and only Nick Carter, who's celebrating his 20th year as a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> that is crazy to think mm -hmm. about. Absolutely crazy that the Backstreet Boys have been around mm -hmm. for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned it earlier, he started at 12 yeah. back in 1992. Yeah. I can't imagine starting that young mm -hmm. in a boy band and then the fame that followed from the Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. I loved the Backstreet Boys. I was one of those junior high girls who had his poster mm -hmm. in my room. You know, and you knew the words crush. to every song, and didn't you? I knew you? the words to Let every song. Let me hear uh, I want <laughs> it that <laughs> way. I can't okay. see Tom, mm -hmm. but yes, I know <laughs> all the words. And you know, they had so much success. I remember when mm -hmm. I was in junior high and high school and the girls Everybody loved those boys. Well, I met Nick when he was just 19 back in 1999. Uh, I was on a city commission and we met at a party on Duval and we uh, connected and uh, he pretty much stayed with me for almost 10 years in between tours. So we got to be best of friends. Mm -hmm. And I, of course, I got to know the whole family, Aaron and the whole group. Aaron slept on my couch a lot in those days and uh, well, pretty interesting. But um, Anyway, uh, he really loves the keys. Yeah, he fell and, in uh, love with the keys. Yeah, and, and he loves go his boat and going out in the water, and mm -hmm. that's what he's doing right now. You know, he's been touring for a couple of years, so he's burnt out. So he's here, poor thing, with R&R, &R, <laughs> and he's working on his boat, playing on his boat, having the time of his life, and uh, that's what he loves about the keys. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can get that rest and relaxation here for sure, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to talk with him because anybody who starts their career that young at 12 years old I mean, the pressure that you have to deal mm -hmm. with. Uh, well, even today, one of the th reasons he's here, he's so burnt out, and, uh, rock stars, the way they make all their money now is touring. Now, old days, they used to make it off the records, but that doesn't happen anymore. They, all the uh, bureaucracy gets that. But uh, today, they make it off touring, whether you're Aerosmith or the... Uh, Rolling Stones, you make your money touring. Mm -hmm. And so the Backstreets have, uh, Backstreet Boys have toured worldwide for 20 years now. Wow. And uh, you know, the, uh, they're so big still over mm -hmm. in the Far East and Europe, uh, down under in the Philippines and Korea, mm -hmm. and, and especially Japan. They're huge in Japan. You Isn't know what's really weird? In Japan, they know the words to every word too. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't think that because <laughs> of the language barrier, but they right. do. They know the words to every song. Oh, that's great. I would love to hear them singing all mm -hmm. the Backstreet Boys songs. Well, then if you go online, you'll see that. <laughs> okay, and it's I'll pretty YouTube interesting. It. And you know what? You have to tell everybody how much Nick loved the Stone the Stone, Stone Crabs. Crabs at yeah, Rusty I, I took, the, <laughs> took him and Jenna and the gang out to the Rusty Anchor the other night, mm -hmm. and we had the colossal size Stone Crabs, and Nick was like in heaven. <laughs> and uh, you'll see in this week's Calm Color, we were picking out on the right. Stone Crab laws. It was so much fun. And oh. Jenna was there, and our blonde mafia was there, Raquel mm -hmm. was there, Dr. Liz was there, Jen was there. I mean, we just had the best of times. So. Well, Rusty Anchor, no one has better. Stone crabs and yeah, them, they, right? they are the oldest seafood house in the Keys, and they catch them big. They have their own line of boats, and they go out 30 miles in the Gulf. I understand. Ramon tells me and catch them, and they have their own like location. Okay. So. Well, check out Rusty Anchor this weekend too, along with checking out the art festival, Peter Vay's opening, mm -hmm. and the presidential inauguration for the Florida Keys community. There College. you go, Dr. Guevara. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we love Jonathan. So, hey, we, Jonathan, congratulations. You've been a big success out at the college, and we needed a good leader like that. So Absolutely. It's going to be a new, exciting chapter with the college. Tom, mm -hmm. thanks for being on this. Oh, <laughs> we had a blast, as we always. As always. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Have a great weekend. Absolutely. A safe one and tune back in next week. Take care everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. It'll be okay. It'll be okay.